you were deputy chief executive when the IRA bombing happened in 1996. You took over two years later. What role did this horrific act play in the rebuilding of the city? With hindsight, a significant role, though I have to say I didn't feel like that at the time. It was one of the most uh, horrendous uh, periods of, of certainly my professional uh, life. The bomb uh, devastated the core part of the city centre, the main shopping areas, some of our major uh, commercial businesses. And it took us weeks and weeks and weeks just to get the city functioning uh, again, getting people into work, getting the transport system uh, operational, never mind about how we were going to uh, oversee a restoration and transformation program. Yesterday, Manchester was again attacked um, in, a, in a tragic incident in, in your arena, in the arena that you built. You built. Um, what do you think this attack will mean uh, for the future of Manchester? Well, it's not just attack on um, Manchester. I think it's an attack on democracy. It's an attack on uh, communities. Uh, it's an attack on the free world, uh, really. Um, um, you're almost speechless, aren't you, uh, with the events which are still unfolding as we, as we speak uh, today. But what makes somebody want to walk into... Uh, an arena with thousands of thousands of young children and families and set a bomb off is, is just extraordinary and unbelievable. Um, but they picked the wrong city. Um, you know, hate never is going to divide this city. Um, we work very, very hard um, in maintaining our cohesiveness, work very, very hard in welcoming people from all over the world who want to share and Manchester's love and experience um, and I've not the slightest doubt that Manchester whilst we're in grief at the present time will go from strength to strength in the future. I'm sure that's true.